All right, everyone, let's discuss the ingredients you will need for this recipe. First, you will need a type of noodle, whether that's a vegetable or tofu. Yeah. I chose these shirataki noodles. One pound of chicken cut into bite-sized squares. Broccoli. Alfredo sauce, remember, low calorie. Butter. Pepper, sea salt, and basil leaves. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Not Just Cooking. Today, we're gonna to be cooking a chicken alfredo. We're gonna keep it healthy. Here in just a minute, you'll have I'm going to turn things up a bit, make this a bit different than your normal everyday chicken alfredo. Today we'll be using Crioli seasoning, butter, and a flavor injector. We're going to inject our chicken, we're going to put it on a smoker, let it smoke for a little bit. The recipe calls for one pound of chicken. Let's get started. All right, it is very important. Make sure that you keep with your book to write your nutrition information down, whatever it is you're caring about the most. If it's calories, write down your calories. If it's carbs, etc., etc. And be sure to weigh everything out. To do that, you're gonna get this little paper plate, put it on top, pull your chicken out, put it on there. That is extremely close to one pound. There's a real, real small piece in here. Be sure, wash your hands. I've washed mine already. There we go. Now, that is one pound, six ounces of chicken. Okay, now most of the time your butter comes pre-labeled for a measurement. Helps you to get your serving size correct. We're going to start with one tablespoon, that's 100 calories, and we'll see where we get to from there. Alright guys, I've popped that butter into the microwave. I added a couple of teaspoons of Creole to the butter. As you can see, there's not much in there, but you do not need much for this little bit of meat. So let's go ahead and inject this, and then we'll get this meat seasoned and get it on the smoker. Alright guys, I wound up running out of butter. I didn't want to add any more calories, so I just put a little bit of water in my bowl, mixed it with the rest of the seasonings, and this is what we turned out to have. Now, let's put some rub on this and we'll get it in the smoker. Today we're going to be cooking on the Bighorn Pellet Grill. I have this thing preheated to 275 degrees. I'm going to stick my chicken on that metal rack and we'll put an amazing tray underneath it. Got some apple wood in the tray all right there we go all right guys chickens on the grill almost done we're gonna come over here we're gonna drain the juice from our shirataki yeah. noodles we're gonna place them in a bowl put fresh water in that bowl and we're gonna let that sit for just a few minutes We'll come back to that in a minute, drain it back off, rinse it. We're gonna get everything started. We'll go over here. We're gonna put one tablespoon of olive oil into this pot. We've already got this heating up. We're gonna put our broccoli in here. This bag is 12 ounces. We're gonna dump all that right on in. And we're gonna get this broccoli cooked up. While our broccoli's cooking in here, let's go outside and check on the chicken. Our chicken's been cooking for just a little bit. We're gonna use our Thermo Pro and figure out what the inside temperature is. As you can see, it's almost time to take that one off. All right guys, I pulled all the chicken off the grill, brought it in, started cutting it up. I'm gonna get a real close up here, look at all the juice that is just flowing. Man, that's just wild. Who is making all that racket? And there you have it. Nice, juicy chicken. Ready for our chicken. Squeak. 
squirrel. Ready for our, <laughs> ready for our chicken Alfredo. So as you can see, we've brought out a saucepan. We're gonna go ahead and put our Alfredo sauce in the pan, get it warmed up. I got a little pro tip for you. You can't get all your sauce out of your jar. Put a little bit of water in it. Shake it up, shake, shake, shake it up. Shake, shake, shake it up. Pour it in. There you go, one empty jar recommend putting your noodles in a colander running fresh water through them after you've allowed them to sit there and set in that fresh water for about 20 minutes guys these noodles smell terrible I just this whole eating healthy thing let's see what we can do about it I'm gonna stick these in a frying pan we'll fry them with nothing. Let's see if I can get some of this smell, flavor, taste, whatever you want to call it, come back out. I'm going to do this just for a couple minutes. I mean, you're not trying to get them crispy or even firm. You just want to get rid of some of this uh, tofu, earthy smell. All right, so we've got these frying. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them over into our sauce. everything mixed together really well this should let the taste of our sauce get imparted into our noodles oh yeah I'm gonna continue to let this heat up for a couple minutes more and then we'll transfer everything together and we should have dinner Okay guys, we're gonna put the lid on this, let it sit for just a few minutes, let some flavor get into those noodles. We're gonna sit here and figure out our calculations. We'll tell you exactly how many calories are in one serving. Here we go. So you might be discouraged wondering how in the world you're supposed to figure out every one of these calories that's in this whole plate. I'm gonna show you how to do it. First, you're gonna need a piece of paper. Second, you're gonna need a math genius. With a little help from my math genius, aka Caitlin and my cell phone. What we figured out here is our chicken, one pound, six ounces, come out to a total of 605 calories. Butter, we use one tablespoon, that equals 100 calories. Olive oil, there's 120 calories in one tablespoon, we used one tablespoon. Noodles, all together, 60 calories. Broccoli, all together, 120 calories. Sauce, all together, was 315 calories. This gives us a total of 1,320 calories. And then when you break that down by four people, that's 330 calories each. So to break something down into 330 calories and feel good about it, I think that's a pretty good day. All right, guys, everything is finished. Now you can come in here with some basil leaf. Just pepper that right on. You can come in here with some peppercorns. Grind you up some fresh pepper. Last but not least, if you want salt, 
this is up to you just add just a little bit I don't much care for adding salt to my meals but if you want it I would recommend doing it with sea salt Alright guys, it's been another episode of Not Just Cooking. Chicken Alfredo. Have a good day. Somebody else wants some chicken. And she's savage.